on making level or I don't know how you say it, but like level generation for like like Flappy Bird. Um, and I don't know if this is how they did it. This is how I've figured it out that works for me. You might have a better way, but if you do, then uh, you should be here. Um, so bef okay, before I get into it. My microphone makes it sound like I'm really fat when I breathe, like I'm breathing really heavily, and I don't know why. I, I don't like it, but it does, so sorry about that. Not really breathing that bad. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works real quick. <coughs> so I don't pay attention to cube, but um, it spawns completely random. Uh, you can make it, you can change like how far apart they spawn really easily inside the code um, you can change like the up and down height of where they spawn like the limit for up and you know, you know what I mean I hope so I'm just going to create a new scene um, before I start change the camera to orthographic and I'm going to give it a size of like 10 and create a cube. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. And scale it up pretty tall. And uh, you can just make it like infinitely tall if you want. Doesn't really matter. Um, and, uh, duplicate it. Um, and drag this down. Okay, sorry, I'm messing up really bad. But you just drag these two to have a gap between them. Like, maybe like that. And set the... should've done that before I duplicated. Set the width scale to 2. Um, then you can make them farther apart, maybe. Like that, I don't know. Then create an empty game object. Um, name it just object. Which, from my last ones, I still have. So I'm gonna delete it. And um, put these, both of these, oh, okay. and this, and then drag it over here. But um, before you delete this, which you will have to in a minute, you want to find. Okay, well first, let's get into the script real quick. Okay, I'm gonna have the a paste bin link for this script in the description, and so that'll be easier than typing it out and you have to follow it. I'm just gonna explain it. So. Um, here is the game object, which is the thing we just made. Here is the how far apart they spawn. It's just going to control that. Or, kind of. But it's, it's just the spawn on the x-axis. Or, yeah. So. And this is the... This is what makes it random. It's a float that will um, be somewhere between this number and this number. And, okay, I'm, hold on. Okay, sorry, I had to clear my throat. Um, so that's what makes it random, and, um, that's what, uh, goodness, I don't even know what I'm saying, but, so to get that to work right, you want to drag this down, like, as slow as you want it to be, you look, like, in the bottom left corner, like, if maybe that's how low you want, like, the lowest spawn to be, you can get this number, copy it, um, put it, where was I, right here, put it here, um, and if it is a decimal, like this is, then you put the F there. Um, that's just basic C sharp. Um, then you find the highest you want it to spawn, which I'll just put it right there. Then you get that number. Put it right here. And save that. So this will. Okay, the. Um, X, okay, you do if statement, and if F is less than a, th or X is less than a thousand, then you want it to instantiate this object, which is what I'll do here, and then it'll add X to it now. Okay, before I explain the instantiate thing, I'm going to explain this thousand thing. So, th the way I did it just to demonstrate it was to spawn a thousand of them, and since I'm not making a full game, I'm just going to leave it that way. But if you make a full game like this, like Flappy Bird, then you can make it to where every time you go between the obstacle 
that it'll uh, instantiate another one a few obstacles ahead so that way um, it'll always be there like so there'll be no end this if I did it like this then the game would end at a thousand um, so you can do it however you want I just this just to demonstrate so then it'll instantiate it at Y which is gonna be every frame it'll change be somewhere between this number and this number which is what we want um, then X is gonna be well it'll go up each time and then multiply it by 4 well, this will steadily increase each frame so each uh, obstacle will be uh, go up or it'll, and they'll be the same amount apart and that's how you change how far apart you want them to be is by changing this number so I'll just make it 6 because it's a wider camera on this one um, so then you uh, <coughs> create an empty game object obstacle you drag in this right there and you just delete that from there and uh, you click play it's better work and see that would be kind of really hard to go through there but you can mess with the numbers um, you can I'll drag this but you get the idea so it'll you can change the numbers to make them spawn how you like them and so you just have to mess around with it and so anyway I hope this helped you if it did you could maybe like it that would be cool and uh, thank you for watching if you have any uh, questions leave them in the comments or send me a message or tweet me or something if you have any video suggestions, just leave them in the comments or any way you want to contact me. So thank you for watching again and uh, bye.